What's up, Jabroni Sibin here? Welcome back to yet another reaction. Today we are hopping into Supernatural episode number 22 of season number five, Swan Song. Of course, we are hitting that season, season finale. It's going to be awesome. I'm very excited. Hopefully you guys are excited as well. Uh, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, Patreon for the full uncut unedited reaction if you want it. If you don't, totally cool. You can get episodes here whenever they show up. Um, Last, last episode, um, of course, we spoke with Def and he uh he wants us to help he wants us to kill lucifer or to put lucifer in that cage so he could be free turns out he's a uh, enslaved to lucifer for some reason um he gave us the ring it looks like sam's gonna have to j let lucifer get into him let him be possessed and then he'll jump in um it looks like michael might have found a different vessel which i thought wasn't gonna be the case i thought that that whole thing with the brother wasn't gonna actually work but it appears that it is. That's actually what's going to happen. So it should be interesting to see where things go. Other than that, I don't know. I'm very curious about this because where do you go after you've done a, a season with the devil? Like once you take care of the devil and we win, where does it go? Do we go after God next season? I'm very curious as to what the hell's going to happen now. But nonetheless, we're going to hop in here. Have a great time. Have some fun. Let me make sure that everything is working correctly before we get started. But I think we're good. Let's hop in here. Let's have a good time. Like, comment, subscribe. Pretty much here we go. Three days later, another hey, car along that Chuck. same line. No one gave two craps about her. But they should have. Ah, sleeping. Oh, a little angel. <laughs> Angels don't sleep. See, most shows, six, five seasons, six seasons, like that's a good run, right? So I wonder if the creator did this story not knowing if he would have more seasons. This is a big story. Like this, Demons. this season's been At great. Two dozen of them. You were right. So it's not gonna be as easy as like, oh. Okay, let's go. I didn't, I didn't even think we were going to fight. All right. I... Help me understand something, guys. I mean, stomping through my front door is a tad suicidal, don't you think? We're not here to fight you. No? Then why are you? I want to say yes. Excuse me? Ah, oh, shit. The fact that he wasn't scared of the rings, really, does that mean anything? How are you controlling this one? What if, what if Dean throws him? Say I love you and throw him. Just messing with you. Well, Sammy's long gone. He beat him that fast. Kahidera, Bevo Tabo. Drop kick him. Drop kick him. Genius. <laughs> so what do we do now? Nothing. We lost. We are not giving up, Bobby. Even Bobby wants to give up. That's how you Bobby? know shit's real. When Bobby wants to give up. Hmm. It was. Oh, it has to be here, a cemetery. But he said, he said, 
it has to begin where it started. It didn't start at the cemetery. We were born in Lawrence. I mean, we were from Lawrence. But, like, why did it. What, what does it mean it started here? Oh, shit. Oh shit. Oh, that was that was interesting. I'm trying to think if this scene would have worked better if that was Dean. I don't know like there's a reason it's not Dean, but like seeing like seeing them two as somebody else square off would have been interesting. But here we go. Okay. Sorry, am I interrupting something? I'm very curious about this. <laughs> like, what's? Hey, we need to talk now. Well, then you're next on my list, Buttercup. But right now, I need five minutes with them. <laughs> you are no longer a part of this story. Hey, ass butt. What? The? Did you just Molotov my brother with holy fire? No one dicks with Michael, but me. Oh no, Cass. No, 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 no. Can you hear me? Oh man, what the fuck was that? You know, I tried to be nice. Is Cass dead? For Sammy's sake. But you are such a pain in my ass. Oh, fuck. Bobby no, Bobby no, Bobby no, Bobby no. No! Yes. Oh my god, damn, that was easy. Sammy? Jeez. Are you in there? No, oh, he's in there, all right. And he's gonna feel the snap of your bones. Thought maybe there was a chance. My God, it's okay. Bro. I'm here. I'm here. I'm not gonna leave you. <laughs> I'm not gonna leave you. A memory, like a uh, a memory that's allowing him to Sam to kind of break through, and control. Oh shit! That's why they were doing the beginning thing, Chuck. That's why. Oh my God! Look how young he looked. That's why the Impala was so important. Okay. Damn, dude, Dean is messed up, though. How long? Look at his face, but I got him. Do you? Wait, we don't have a wall to throw the thing into. Oh, no, jump! Step back! You're gonna have to make me! I have to fight my brother, Sam! Jump in! Here and now! It's my destiny! Fuck your destiny! Jump in! Dude, if I was watching this shit live, I wouldn't... I would think this is Sam's end. I would legit think Sam's about to die. Oh shit. Oh wait. Is he pulling you? He just pulled Michael into hell. Holy shit. What does any of this mean? Ah, dude, they the makeup on your face right now is nuts. Fuck. Ow. Ow. I'm better than that. Wait, what? You get your powers back. Oh. New and improved. Is that because Michael's gone? Woo! I heard the bones, sir. Hey, Bobby. Well, if you do see him, you tell him I'm coming for him next. 
Ooh, shit, what? You're angry. No shit. That's an understatement. He helped. Maybe even more than we realized. That's easy for you to say. He brought you back. But what about Sam? That's... Everybody wants to be free. This is the last Dean and Bobby will see of each other for a very long time. Whoa, 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 what's happening? What the hell is next season? And for the record, at this point next week, Bobby will be hunting a Rougarou outside of Dayton. But not Dean. Dean didn't want Cass to save him. Every part of him, every fiber he's got, wants to die or find a way. To... I think I'd like to take you up on that beer. Servitude makes you free. They set her up. Not great. <laughs> Like, I don't feel nothing for that. I feel happy for Dean because Dean's gonna have a family. Like, Dean can have a family, but it being her doesn't mean anything. Because I don't think they set her up well. So what's it all add up to? It's hard to say. But me. What the hell? Who's this? I don't know who it is. Is it Lucifer or is it Sam? I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Hmm. Well, that was uh, season finale of Supernatural. Kind of felt like a serious finale. I don't know where how we get another 10 seasons out of this show. <laughs> That's kind of nuts. But, uh. Not what I expected for a season finale. Not even close. I was expecting some action heavy bloodbath. I don't. I mean, I thought it was going to be more of that. Instead, we got a more. Mental game, psychological situation working here. Um. I don't even know what to give the up. I mean, to me, it was, to me, honestly, if it wasn't for that Sam thing at the end, I would have called that like a perfect finale. A perfect finale. We defeated the devil. Bobby was a hunter. Sam gave his life to save the world. Cass got to go back to heaven being a Second in command to God, I guess. Because Michael's gone. Michael's went down with Lucifer. I'm a little let down by that fight because we didn't get the fight. I don't know. I'm a little bit let down by it. But I'm trying to think of what we got instead was better. Hmm. I'm going to give the episode and I'm in between a nine or a 10 right now for a talk. I'm in between that. Like I, I, I want to go 10, but I didn't feel the emotional punch that I wanted to feel. Um, and I think I, I I'll be real. I'll be honest. I think a lot of, a lot about my emotional punch is because I know there's another season. Like if I didn't know there was another season, I wonder if I would have been like, Bad, like this is a proper because it felt like an ending right it felt like a literally it felt like a perfect ending um and even the ending with sam there it almost feels like sam saw dean and sam's gonna walk away from dean that's the vibe i got there dean got what sam what he what was Dean got what dean deserved the family to be happy right sam saw that i would have had sam walk away that's what i would have done with that scene Sam comes back somehow. I don't know how, why, or anything. If they're going to have Sam be there, they should have had Sam walking away. That would have been the perfect ending to me, the show. It's like, where does it go? To a lot of people, I think a lot of you guys have said this is the best season of the series. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, it's not my favorite season. I don't know what my favorite season is. It's probably four. Maybe. Um, I'd have to really think about it. 
this one's top three. I'd have to really think about it. Um, this, I mean, this, this season was great though, so maybe it is this one. I don't know. I'd have to really sit down and break it down. But and another thing, I think the emotional part didn't hit me is they didn't build up Dean's uh girl at the end there at all. Really enough, we've met her twice. Her story when we met her was very meh. Her episode was very meh episode. And we're just kind of meant to believe that she's being soulmate, but I don't know. I never, I don't love her. I don't really like the actress, the way she plays the character. And I don't really like what they give her to work with. So I guess that's another thing that I don't, I don't know. I would have preferred the girl. If I would have preferred the girl from um, season two or one, um, what was her name? The one with the, uh, how her name was, but from, you guys know the other girl that, that Dean said he was in love with. I, I, I liked her more than this one. That's the route I would have gone. This one, I don't man, I don't know any of their names, but I don't know. I just don't feel anything for her and Dean. I, I was happy because Dean got to be happy. But it, it wasn't like I was I would have been happy with anybody <laughs> for Dean. You know what I mean? They could have done a time jump and Dean is with a girl we've never met before. I would have been happy because Dean got happy um i did love at the beginning i was very confused about the chuck thing and the, the chuck dialogue and i'm like why are we doing this chuck situation with the narration um but in the end when it's what triggers sam to be able to take control over lucifer that was solid man i'm a little i don't know how to feel about that lucifer situation right they chose they chose not to go the route of action they chose to go to the route of emotion man it's a great choice either way it's a great choice I just don't I kind of was expecting a a bloodbath fight and we didn't get that at all no no when 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 it was um when they mentioned uh Sam and him having a one on one inside of Sam's brain I thought we were going to see that. Instead, we didn't. <laughs> Lucifer just whooped his ass and it was over. <laughs> um, oh, damn. Yeah, so that's why I'm in between a 9 or a 10 because I don't know. The fact that I have uh, nitpicks or am not sure if the choices that were chosen were the ones I would have done is why I'm kind of leaning more towards a 9 than a 10. I think if, it was a, if, I, if I felt it was a 10, I wouldn't have the... I would be perfectly happy with everything and instead I'm kind of left questioning but then you have to ask the question is questioning good is questioning the choice that they made that was made better than just giving you what you wanted I don't know but we'll break it down we'll kind of go through it here and you guys you know let me know in the comments of course but we start off and it's Chucky boy here narrating talking about the car talking about the brothers and they've been through a lot right and as I'm watching it, I'm like, what is this ending going to be? Uh, we were, we're gathering all this blood for Sam to, you know, get, become what he becomes. You know, the, Dean isn't happy about it. Sam says, no matter what happens, you can't try to save me. You can't. Once I go in that hole, it's over. And Dean's not happy about it. He never agreed to it. You know, we say our goodbyes here. We do the drinking of the blood. So again, Sam fills up on blood that doesn't even matter in the end, really. Because that's not what gives us thing to overpower the um, Lucifer. But honestly, it's going to sound cheesy, but it feels like love is what overpowered Lucifer in the end. Um, so yeah, we have this thing. We give ourselves to him. We say, yes, Lucifer knows about the rings. And I'm like, wait, he ain't scared of the rings. The plan ain't about to work. Fuck it. But, you know, Sam thinks he has a shot. Find out he doesn't. Gets his ass whooped. He, Dean opens up the portal. And Lucifer never worked. He knew that it was, uh, it was Sam. It was Dean. It was, uh, Lucifer the whole time. Sam never had control, but he got the, he got the rings. And I thought this scene was really cool. The one on one with, like, Sam in the mirror and, um, Jared kind of playing. This guy's name is Jared, right? 
like playing both care like both Lucifer as Sam and then Sam as Sam. I thought that was cool. And then he brings back people that he said he he said a line here that I didn't quite understand. These people that were watching us from way back in the day. So are they were they demons, angels that were watching us? I don't know, but nonetheless, Sam Lucifer kills all of them, and Sam just has to be there and watch it. Cass gives up. Bobby wants to give up. Dean doesn't want to give up. Dean wants to find where this war is going to happen. We then get more of the narration. Uh, then Dean uses Chuck to ask where, like, hey, Chuck, where's this battle going to be? Tells him. Ah. And, yeah, we just go. Oh, I'm not sure what the conversation was here with Cass, but the fact that they showed up. We go here. This is another interesting thing, right? This part here was interesting as hell. Lucifer's mind here about why are we fighting god made everything therefore god made me you don't have to do everything god tells you to do you're just being a good little soldier like this was just a really good back and forth but i'm gonna be real part of me wonders this is why this is why i struggle to just give it a 10 because a part of me is like this scene this scene here doesn't work as well because we didn't get to know him that well. This, um, the brother here, Adam, right? We didn't get to know him well enough. We've got, we got to know him in two episodes. The episode in which we found out he was already dead. And the episode where he, he came back and was literally okay with being the vessel. And this dialogue and these scenes and these shots feel like they would have hit more if Dean was the person in control if it was Dean. Now, Dean shows up awesome with his rock music and the Impala. And then, you know, Michael gets mad at Dean, tells him to leave. Lucifer's just there standing. And then what is, um, what does Cass says? No longer a part of this story. Hey, ass butt. Ass butt. <laughs> <laughs> literally the same word he burns him with holy fire uh lucifer gets pissed off did you just molotov my brother with holy fire uh no no one dicks with michael but me <laughs> fuck yo uh then you know we're talking Bobby tries to help. Bobby gets broken every bone in his body, and then it's just a beating from hell to Saint to Dean, and Dean trying to talk to Sam and saying, "Sam, it's okay, it's okay, I'm here." What does he see? He sees the toy, right? The little soldier toy. Yeah, right there. Then brings all the memories. Sam just takes control, does the thing with the rings, opens the hole. Michael comes here. I don't know. The execution of this was weird too to me. I don't know, not weird, just not as great. It was like, like, it's just Michael saying, we have to have this fight. It's my destiny. Is that what he said? It's not going to end this way. Step back. You're going to have to murder my this. brother, Sam. Here and now. It's my destiny. It's destiny. So Michael was just a fucking kiss ass. Like, my destiny. Like, what? Okay. So he goes to try to stop him and then. He, uh, Sam pulls him in and they both die Cash shows up powerful as hell he says better than ever he was Dean he was brings back body from the dead I don't know what the fuck happens to Chuck here he fulfills his story and then kind of vanishes which I don't know what the fuck that means pain in the air, I suppose just vanishes and it's like oh okay. gee then, you know, we're talking with Cass. Cass is going to go back. And I'm like, Dean, I'm like, bro, you had this whole thing about not wanting to work for God and rebelling against God and not wanting to go through with the plan. All of a sudden, Michael's gone. You get a promotion and now you're up there being all happy. Hunky Dory. What the hell? And then we get this little voiceover about Bobby. I mean, still being a hunter. Dean going over here. Again, I wish I would have cared about her. And then we get more of this. And then he... Then again, he talks about the ending and fans being upset about, you know, all the things you have to, all the little 
holes and potholes you have to close and everything. Nothing ever really ends, does it? What the fuck? What, the fuck? what does that mean? What does that mean? And then just means just kind of living life, and then Sam's just out here watching. Interesting. I would have had him walk away. Because it would have given the impression that he's leaving. He's going to leave Dean alone or let Dean live his life. Would have been interesting. Uh, but yeah, that's the episode. Because you can see I'm in this weird thing where I'm like. I'm like the fan that Chuck was talking about where you're like, you know, you know, like a lot of holes and fans are never happy. Like I should be 100% thrilled and it, think this ending was perfect. I have these small little things. That leave me with questions about, I don't know, things I would have done differently or characters I would have developed more to make us care. Like, think if Michael would have been developed more or Adam would have been developed more or Dean's uh, girl at the end would have been developed more. You know what I mean? Dean ending up with Joe would have been awesome. Because I got to know Joe. I actually like Joe. Oh, that's why I think I'm going to give it a nine. Like it was, I, I would get me wrong. If this was the, the finale to the series, I would have been happy. I would have been, I wouldn't have been mad or anything. What I'm, what you're seeing here is me kind of nitpicking and trying to think of like the ways that I would have preferred little things to go. But love the ending. Um, love a lot of the choices. Love a lot of the dialogue. Um, I don't know where you go from here, bro. <laughs> I don't know where you go from here. Maybe I guess you could say that that was not actually dead and bring him back later in another season. I don't know. But that's the episode. Hope you guys enjoy. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, Patreon for the full reaction. Uncut episode, episodes over there if you want them. If you don't, totally cool episodes here whenever they show up. But I'm going to get out of here and I'll talk to you guys later.